This is Dr. David Herzog, clinical psychologist and yoga teacher, and this is not a Bible. This is the Constitution of the United States and the Bill of Rights. Perhaps this is what you should have been holding up in that ridiculous photo op that you created <laughs> last week. This nice little pocket version of the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, both of which foundations of this democracy, this country, and perhaps this is something you want to have in your pocket, and maybe you reflect upon it in the midst of your flurry of ridiculous tweets to remind yourself uh, about what this country, what our founders put forward as tenets, as a foundation. For this country and the people who are citizens of this country. So, going to the preamble, we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this Constitution of the United States of America. Just the preamble. Just the preamble says so much. Reflect on that, perhaps. Now, as we think about that silly stunt you pulled last week, clearing out peaceful protesters that were in the way of your photo op, tear gas and rubber bullets that you had your henchmen use on the protesters to clear the way. Mm -hmm. uh, important to think about the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. Freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition for the government for a redress of grievances. Kind of sounds like what they were doing, those protesters, peacefully expressing their grievances. <laughs> and you kind of actually you did violate their constitutional rights. So again, perhaps think twice before you act out against we, the people, 
and violate our rights. Because we may be kept down from time to time, but in the end, the we will rise. <laughs> the we will speak our collective voice. We will go to the ballot box. <laughs> and you will be done. Rest in peace, Mr. President.